I'm here to talk about similarities and the differences between the PC and the Mac as I can only work on one computer with a video. I'm working from a PC but with some screen captures from the Mac. First thing here I want to talk about is printing. I'm on this sheet here. I will have this file online with the class so that way you can refer to this. When you have Excel open you've got this row up here, a row down here. These do slightly different things. This gray area here d has different functions. What I want to talk about is just printing the document. Okay, you want margins and stuff. You go in the lower section there, you click on layout, orientation size, yada yada. That allows you to do this. Uh, formulas all work the same. 5 times 5 is always going to equal 25. I have a couple of things here. I'm on this sheet now. Uh, I'm not talking about doing the functions. There's other tutorials online or in the class. But we have the payment function here, and I want to show you the similarities here. If I click on this FX here, this is what the formula looks like on the PC. It's going to look the exact same way on the Mac, but it's rearranged different. When you're creating a format and you're done, you hit the OK. Now I'm going to go into this example here. This is the same thing, the payment function where you're paying off a loan over four years. This is what it looks like over here. And when you're looking for the functions, you could just, it'll show recently ones here, or you could just start typing in a couple of letters of the function here, and it gives you a description. It's showing these three boxes here. When you're in the PC environment, you don't, it knows, these would be bold, okay? The FV and the type do not have to be filled in. You just do that. The formula is completed at the top. It's not showing here. You'll see a little red light that closes out the window. Some of them get a little bit different, okay? If statement. If I go into here, it we're just saying I have it written down in here. Uh, but if I explode this out on the FX, it's showing the three things. There are the true, the test, the true, and the false. Even though these are not bold, they don't have to be filled in. It would just return the answer of true or false, but usually you want to put a formula or display a text message, and it will give you the result there. I'm going to say OK when it's done. Now let's look at this on the Mac, OK? Same thing. This is a screen capture. Don't look at the top here, OK? Um, it shows the formula here, B3. This is where it's a little different. Like if you're saying greater than, equal to, d, 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 you've got these arrows here that allow you to make the choice. So it's saying if the condition, then that's the true, that's the false. And it's saying if you have more than so much money, you're going to invest X amount. Otherwise, you're just going to give the people a gift card. It shows you the result. You got that little circle there. That would be blued out, okay? Uh, or read it out, I should say, where you could just close it out. You can't do it because it's a visual representation. Going on to the next one. If you're listening to this, you're doing some things on your computer, hit the pause button, please, okay? Chart. Charts. The great thing about working between the PC and the Mac, they will open. This file was created on a Mac, okay? It opened up beautifully in here. Um, I was working with version 2011 for the Mac. They're now up to 2016. Some of you might be working with 8. I can't guarantee what it's like with the 8, okay? That has been out of service now for like 8 years now, but most functionality should be there. Uh, let's say you're doing a chart, okay? And what it is here, I have the instructions here. And I did the chart here. It's a little different, yet the same here. You would go to, eight, like, I would highlight the data like this. I would say insert, and then I would go into recommended charts. It will show a whole bunch of things there, okay? I'm going to hit the cancel button. And this is how you do this on the Mac, okay? Same thing. Other thing, too, you're doing non-adjacent range. Like, I want to do a chart, well, let's say, for year four, and I use that control key. I put my finger on the control key, highlight it there then I can do the chart. 
you would be using the command key. And I'm going to go to the example here. Not this one, but this one. This is the chart here. Now I'm going to just show you the thing here. It's almost exactly the same. This is the diagram here. I have it displayed in the Excel sheet here. And what it is, I select the range for the chart, like I would highlight this, whatever. Then I go into insert on the top row. See where I have the mouse here? I'm just going to click up here, okay, so you can see that. And you click on charts. It shows the charts down here, okay? You choose that thing here. You could choose whichever type of chart you want. You can format it after it's created on this toolbar. It's all pretty simple. Um, it's highly adaptable. And you just have to might have to look at a different part of the screen, but you'll find it. And good luck.